So let's start by creating the Next.js project. I'll be using Next.js 14. So I'll just specify it here. You can specify your project name as like modal pop up Linux type script. No, no, it's RC. Yes, we'll be using app router. So once this is done, we should be able to get the project created successfully. So we'll be using material UI. So I'll just copy this command from the material UI side to install material UI. I'll just copy this thing, go to my code. paste this thing here and that should install the required material UI module so once this is installed we just need to check if it's working fine for that I'll just go to usage <coughs> here I'll just copy a button uh, I'll just copy a button which is a material UI button and I'll just okay I just need to open the project from here first so I'll just go to D workspace and the modal pop up. Okay, so once so here's my modal pop up project. So I'll go to SRC inside app. There is a page.tsx inside page.tsx. At the end, I'll just add a button which is a material UI button. So we also need to import this button from material UI. Just copy this import, go to the code and paste it here. So we'll just run the project. So this is just to check if it's this is just to check if material UI is working fine. I just run the project from here. Pin run day. So once the project is up and running, you just need to go to the browser, open localhost 3000 you can see this button which is a material UI button it's getting rendered here so material UI is working fine now let's see how you can use modal pop-up in your next.js project for that I'll just go to components here we have modal if you see if you click here it's a simple modal we'll just do one thing we'll just go for the first one which is the basic modal here is the modal code so I'll just copy this thing go to my project inside here inside the app I'll create a folder called components and inside components I'll create modal so components slash modal dot tsx that creates this thing inside I'll paste this code right I'll change the name to modal now if you see here you see here there's an issue here can't the name the name can't be same as this one so i'll just rename this thing to modal pop-up that should resolve the issue okay so now once this is sorted what you can do is you can you can see if it's working so what i'll do is i'll just call this thing on this page so instead of using the button here I'll just remove the button and I'll include modal pop-up from the components modal let's see if it's working fine I'll just save it okay so we have some issues here it's, it's a client component it's a client component since it uses react use state and all so we just need to mention use client here once the use client is added here you can see the error goes up now we can go to your browser over here you can see there's a button called open modal if i click on this thing you can see the pop up gets opened click outside it goes away let's customize it a bit so i don't want this button to be inside the pop up because if it happens to be inside i can't reuse this thing so what i'll do is we can move this thing outside here I'll rename this to handle now this should be a client component altogether what I'll do is I'll let's say we have some another component let's say I'll create one more component called, called dashboard.tsx now let's I'll just create the dashboard component 
I'll just name it as dashboard and this also will be a client component Oops, client okay and uh, let's see it has a button I'll just copy this button from here and move it inside here right this button being a material component i'll just need to copy this thing from here also not this one but this one i just copied this thing and i'll just move it here and son you see it's working fine so whenever this thing is clicked we need to put the modal pop-up so i'll just include the modal pop-up inside the dashboard component so i'll just move this thing from here and move it inside dashboard so now you can see that the button is outside this thing I'll just import this thing also. Hmm. So now I'll just add a new event handler. Handle btn click. Right. I'll just create an event here. Runs. Right. That does it. So now once on this thing, whenever I click on the button, it should open. It should open the modal pop-up. So how do you manage the model modal pop-up from this thing? For this thing, I need to pass a props to this thing called open equals to open. So here I need to maintain a state const open open modal set so open modal. So by default, this value will be false and you'll be passing the open modal property to this right now based on this if you go inside modal you can see here we just add a prop called open and this value can be passed here so i guess this this can't be both can't be open so i'll just rename it to open modal only open modal this also renamed to open modal i'll go to the modal.tsx and rename this to open modal right and copy this open modal here and set the default value of open from this right so based on this handle button click we can set the value so handle button clicks if it's open we'll simply set open modal to true right I'll just save this thing right now if you go to your application from here you can see okay we I forgot to include the dashboard component here that's what I believe yeah so I'll include the dashboard component once included we should be able to see the button in the pop-up here so yeah welcome to dashboard and there you have the open modal button which is inside the dashboard component so whenever the prop changes we need to add a use effect here like this and whenever it changes i'll just check if it's changing on change what we can do here is we need to set the value of set open whatever the value of this open modal is right if i save this thing if i go here i'll refresh the page once again now if you see when i click on open modal it will fire the first time right so this time the value of this open has been set to true right now next time when i close this thing i also need to reset the value to false then only it will fire the next time i'll just read on this thing you can see the open modal value is false here i click it once again to open modal open modal value is true if i close this thing open modal value doesn't really change when this thing doesn't change it's true right so until and unless the value changes this thing won't be triggered right if you see if i click it once again the open modal it doesn't fire why because this open modal value also need to be reset on handle close so for that what we need to do is we need to pass the close event here close callback right 
And if you go to dashboard, const handle modal close, right? And on the modal, we need to add this as a callback. So, so scroll callback is handle modal close and what this does is when the close is called we'll set open modal to false right this needs to be called whenever this thing is called so on handle close i'll be calling set open as well as the callback the close callback if i save this thing Let's just run this once again. I'll just refresh the page once again. Refreshed. Let's see if it's working fine. I'll click on open modal. Open modal is true. And I clicked it. Now the open modal becomes false. Now if I again click on the open modal, you can see it opens again. The open modal is true here. This is how you can reuse this uh, modal pop-up. So now I think this can be pretty much reuse anywhere or in any component that you want all you need to do is you just need to use this modal pop-up import this thing and use it as it is so i hope you find this video useful do let me know your thoughts in the comments below thanks for watching